Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and today I've got a very big unboxing to share with you all. Um, I think I may have to I may have to move this off the table. Let's see how far we can get with it. Um, I don't even know if we're going to get it in full view but let's see if I can just get this tape off the edges. This was sent to me by Sander Direct and it is what I call epic. This is a diamond painting helper on a very big scale. Okay the box is open we have started the process. Let's see what we get. So we have a box. Let's see if we can get everything out. Oh, this is packaged amazing already. We have this huge box, which is very thick. It's a very thick cardboard box. It's not, it's not a thin one. Okay, there we go. That is all out. Let's see what else. Oh, we get extras. <coughs> Let me pick them up off the floor. Okay, so it's come in an extremely thick box, but this is a light pad. But this is no ordinary small light pad. This is an A2 light pad. So this is big. So we do have a customer service card. So as a reliable seller, we always pursue to provide customers with 100% satisfactory products and services. If you find any damage or dissatisfaction, contact us immediately, or please feel free to contact us instantly. Uh, and they have Amazon message, Facebook group, Facebook page, email, and Etsy. So there's a few different places, though this has come through Amazon. Um, and then, I'm not quite sure what these are. Oh, they're magnet clips. Okay, so we've got magnet clips, we've got clip clips in a gorgeous blue, I must say. Then we have a box with the charger which is UK for me. That of course depends what country you purchase it from as to what plug you get. So you do get the plug that suits. And this is a guarantee for two years from the date of purchase. So let's get in here. Now normally this sort of foamy stuff with diamond paintings isn't the best but with the likes of a light pad it is it is fully protected isn't that huge okay, let's get the packaging out of the way some of the packaging so it's come with a protective plastic cover oh i like the background of this um, then it's come with the bubbles and then it's come in a box. And it does confirm on the back that it is a 12 volt, two amp, and it is an A2. That's what I need in the UK. Let's get this off as well. Oh wow. It has like a matte finish. It's not like a glass finish. It's a really nice matte finish. It's not that thick either. You see there? It's, it's not too thick. So it would still work with my clips. The back board of it is a bit like that corrugated plastic that you can get. It's very hard, it's not focusing now because I've given it an all black area to look at. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus a bit better. Um, oh, 
There we go, give it my hands to focus on. Look at that though, that is huge. Where's my tape measure? I have it about. So the actual light up area, if we're just going in the middle, is about 23 and a half inches and 59 and a half centimetres, which should be easy enough because it does have centimetres across the top. And then this way down, it's showing as 41 and a half centimetres, which is about 16 and a, nearly 16 and a half inches. Nice big time amazing area. But what is nice about this one is it, it has the wire to then go to the plug. It doesn't have your connector going straight in there, which as many of us know, and I've been through at least two light pads that way, is when it has the connector on the end here, sometimes it's those that actually go. So it's either from the weight of your diamond painting, I lost one because somebody tripped over my wire that was charging. They tripped over the wire and it pulled the whole socket out. Whereas this one doesn't work that way. It plugs into here which means you then have all of this wire. Then you have a control. So this is where you can turn it off and turn it up to maximum. And then we get to the plug part. So let's, let's get in it, come on. It's got these little twisty tires. Let's get those out of the way. And let's plug this in. Just take out my battery that's on charge. That plug is tiny. Okay. Ooh, can you see that? I know I've got my big lights on and I'm going to do it without my lights. So, let's turn off the lights, my studio type lights, and adjust. So there's a little bit of light coming in from behind me because it is daytime. But here we go. You should be able to see this better now. So that is showing on a minimum and it will go all the way up to a full bright. And you are seeing some of it. The camera does then adjust to some of the brightness, but you should be able to see most of it. That's now off. So if I turn it on and I'll turn it all the way up so that's gone all the way up to maximum. Believe me, that's bright. And then we'll turn it all the way back down to off. And it does take a, a couple of seconds from turning it off on here for it to go off on the actual light pad. But let's see. I'm trying to find a diamond painting that I can just grab hold of for us to see the symbols. So let's get get my little Mr Fox I know he's not the biggest but this is let's turn let's turn the lights back on for a minute this is a 30 by 40 painting now this is exactly 30 by 40 here um so yeah you I mean of course it goes up to what 59 and a half so you'd get a 60 by 40 plus and you'd probably get most, if not all, of your design area in the middle of the light pad. Now, these clips you can use to, of course, clip your painting top, bottom, side. They're quite nice, strong clips. Let's see what these do. Do they work through it? No. Do they work all the way through because otherwise I'm wondering what we've got magnets for oh hang on oh they do work in places oh okay they do work in places so you could actually let's lift it up okay not super strong maybe probably better for paper if you were using this as a tracing pad, um, because
because light pads are of course primarily were used by designers for, for tracing and detailed work and stuff like that. So I don't think these magnets would be the best for a diamond painting due to the weight. Though you could use them, you know, as a, as a potential stopping the moving quite as much than if they're not on there. Moves around a lot more when you're working on it if it's not on there. So you could put them on for that. But I'd say for us diamond painters, these clips are the better option. Let me also try, have I got one handy? Yes. So one of my recent videos on my other channel, um, which is linked below, but on, on one of the other channel was these clips, these quilting clips. Let's see if they work. They do. So they, even though it's still quite thick, they do still work on there. So you could either use the clips that come with it, which I must admit are pretty good and pretty beefy. Um, but if you have got hold of some of these clips anyway, they will fit through the thickness of the light pad. So let's turn off the lights again and let's see what the symbols look like through it. So, okay, so we've got normal daytime, but if I try and zoom you guys in, as though you were working on the painting. Okay, so that's as far as I can get it to zoom in. Let's turn on the light pad. So that's on a low brightness. Another camera does take a minute to adjust each time I turn it up. But believe me, the bright one is bright for you to be able to see. I would probably have it more around there to be able to see and um, to clearly see the symbols through the light pad and then even on the lowest you can make it out a little bit better I, it, I think it would depend on how much light there is around you um because light pads are i primarily only use my light pad when it's dark out and um, which won't happen here for a few more hours but even that, sort of a couple of layers up, it does make a lot of these symbols a lot clearer. Okay, big lights coming back on, flashy flash. Does flash while it adjusts to that. <laughs> and let's zoom you guys back out. I hope that did come through on camera um, as to how how good it would be but I'm pretty impressed with that size I don't have I got let's see if I can find a painting that's that's wide as well see the thing is a lot of my paintings that I have long ones of oh here we go so this is a Timney Arts one this is 48 by 73 centimeters you get my little clips off the side that keep it rolled up. This is a poured glue, so it is a lot easier to roll and unroll. But can you imagine doing this on here? One of the big ones. So you can either have it that way, clip it onto one of the sides, and you wouldn't have to move your light pad, really, unless you wanted different access to the painting. Or you could do it that way, clip it to the top, to do all that top part and then clip it to the bottom to do all the bottom and let it hang over the top I think I'd probably put it that way clip it on and bar two little strips where I may need to shuffle from that side to that side I'd probably just keep it on the light pad that way and go dot 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 in but yeah so that is an A2 light pad from Sander Direct. So I do thank them for sending me this to show you all. I'm, I'm going to go off and give this a go, I think, with, with my big painting that I have on the go. Um, really put it through its paces. But I like the matte finish and it's not dots underneath. That's the other thing. When you do turn it on, the whole back lights up. 
it's not a series of little dots. The light goes all the way across. So I think that's going to be epic. Let's see what that looks like with this one on. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the light coming through. You can see where it's coming through at the top here. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can. I can. I can, and that's that's quite down quite dull. You could put that up quite bright and have a disco. At the same point, can you see the difference here? Oh yeah, you can see that on the camera now. If I turn that down, down, and that's probably where I'd have it, sort of daytime, nighttime type thing, evening time, possibly about there, where you guys are probably only just starting to see the difference. Um, but in real life, so if I look at this now, but then look at the camera, in real life it's about there. So you've still got even more brightness to go. But yeah, me like, me like stats. He does. Um, so yeah, I'll pop links down below to it. So you do get the power supply that's relevant as long as you're purchasing it in, of course, your country's Amazon. Um, I'll pop links to them all below. But yeah, thank you so much to Sander Direct. First unboxing on this channel and it's a big one. It's a big exciting one. So I need to go find a home for this now. Probably in my little diamond painting zone to start off with. I'm going to try this on my easel actually because this is quite thick. So I think it will sit on my easel and in effect make it a bit bigger without coming off. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will speak to you all again soon.